These guys really know their gadgets and gizmos. Welcome to Drunk Tech Review, where we review the latest gadgetry completely intoxicated. Hello and welcome to Top X, where we look at the very best that YouTube has to offer. Today we're mastering modern technology as we count down our picks for the top 10 YouTube tech reviewers. For this list, we've gathered together YouTube's most entertaining, informative, and reliable technology product reviewers. Number 10, TechSmart. And drop a like in this video if you know what a Blackberry is or ever owned one because chances are a few of you probably won't. Launched in 2010 by Keaton Keller, this YouTube channel has since grown quickly and now boasts nearly a million subs. This MacBook right here is trying to replace a MacBook Air. This is my MacBook Air right here. And this is the second generation in 2016 and it's just really not cutting it. A well thought out channel hosting numerous playlists, including lists for budget purchases, back to school gear, Apple, Android keyboards, and more. This channel probably has something for all tech lovers. So here's what you get in the box. You get the Apple TV itself, you get the cable, and then you get the remote, which I am a huge fan of. I really love the design. Just feels awesome, and I honestly feel like I'm the king of the world with this. Between the thorough reviews, regular uploads, clean production style, and weird products, when Keaton asks, what's good guys? You gotta say, you are Keaton, you are. Hey, what's good guys, Keaton here. So I found the coolest pair of headphones that you never have to charge. So let's check these out. Number nine, The Verge. The question isn't about specs. Of course the specs are getting better. The question is about how the decision Apple's made with this phone will trickle into all of the millions of iPhones they'll sell in the future. A channel which claims to cover the intersection of technology, science, art, and culture, The Verge sets out with a pretty big task and it accomplishes it in style. Looks like a regular laptop, which is fine. I'm sticking with the MacBook Air. It's less expensive and it has more ports. The channel handles product reviews, product comparisons, and tech news, presenting it in a way which is understandable for all viewers, from industry aficionado to tech novice. The Notebook 9 screen is 15 inches in size and it's a 1080p resolution, which isn't as high as others that you can get right now, but still sharp enough for most purposes. There's no high and mighty or we're clever, you're not narrative going on here. Just honest, relatable ideas about things that the average person, well, the average tech lover, cares about. But what the Notebook 9 does do is change your perception of what you can get from a thin and light computer. No longer are you stuck with a small screen. It's not the best computer in any metric, but it has a good value for its price, and it does most tasks really well without any major compromises because of its design. Number eight, Android Authority. What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority, and with the Galaxy S7 Edge fresh on store shelves, those of you with the S6 Edge may be wondering, is it worth the upgrade? Any fan of Android smartphones could easily spend hours, days, even weeks trawling through Android Authority, as the channel's title suggests. It's the place to go when you're thinking of upgrading your Android cell phone. These days, we're seeing lots of smartphone companies ditching plastic and moving to an all-metal design. And this year, LG has done exactly that with their all-metal LG G5. Everything is covered. Aesthetics, tech design, performance, apps, and price comparisons. Plus, watch out for gadget giveaways. This week, we're giving away the Samsung Galaxy S7. This is Samsung's latest flagship and comes with a respectable range of specs, including a 5.2-inch Quad HD screen for gigabytes of RAM up to 64 gigabytes of storage. The channel's roster of presenters are plenty of fun as well. They really know their stuff and they'll tell you exactly which phones are safe to drop and from what height. I'll be five foot six at the air and let's just see how it fares. Ooh. Number seven, Pocket Now. Did it live up to the hype? I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell for Pocket Now and this is our LG V10 after the buzz. Founded in 2000, Pocket Now was born of a pre-iPhone era when mobile technology was just taken off. As such, the channel boasts plenty of well-researched tech expertise. After facing performance issues on the G Flex 2, LG utilized a less powerful but more consistent processor for the G4 and this beast of a phablet. The videos are presented in a direct way, but are still entertaining simply because of the amount of useful information that they contain. But PocketNow's unique selling point is its daily news roundup, appropriately called PocketNow Daily. Well, smartphone market share is down. We've been talking about this for weeks. So these companies really need to come up with something, I don't know, smart and fast. A short rundown of what's hot with smartphones, tablets, and wearables. It's everything that any gadget enthusiast could ever need. Apple added some pro features to the medium-sized iPad. And now we need to take a look at who might benefit from upgrading to this tablet powerhouse. Number six, Techno Buffalo. One of the things I love more in this world, aside from my family, is talking tech. And what better way to do it than to talk tech with you guys? Techno Buffalo is one of the most well-connected tech channels on YouTube. 
with links to some major American news organizations such as CNN, CNBC, and Fox Business. Let me ask you, Tracy, do you think this is an iPad or do you think this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab? The vast majority of its videos are presented by John Rettinger, who has come to be one of the most well-respected personalities within tech circles. If you follow the phone industry a lot and you're really into tech, I don't think anybody's drooling for the iPhone SE. I don't think people are like waiting in line and camping out the Apple store. A wide range of products are tackled, including mobile technology, game consoles, and televisions, and the videos are all presented in a variety of ways, including countdown clips, which is an amazing idea, by the way. And last, not least, probably the least sexy of all the updates, new software. Next generation of watchOS and tvOS. I wouldn't hold your breath for anything like Apple Watch 2. Number five, Jonathan Morrison. What's up, Internet? Kevin here with TLD. Well, the Xbox One came out about three weeks ago, which means I've had that much time to mess around with both it and the PS4. Some tech reviewers passionately kick against Apple, but not Jonathan Morrison. He's out here trying to help us get the best out of our iPhone, iPads, and I pretty much everything all throughout the day. A couple cool things with this is that it's not just for power and for charging, but it also supports data transfer as well. There's a pretty cool LED light towards the bottom to let you know the cable is active. And most importantly, it functions as advertised. Morrison's Tech Fast Lunch and Dinner provides need to know knowledge, helpful user tips, and it regularly showcases the stranger side of smart technology. Plug in a USB cable. It is hot down here. Kids be safe with fire. It works! Apple products are featured in most videos, but there isn't any kind of strict one brand policy. Morrison tackles all the big players, including Sony, Microsoft, and Samsung, searching for the greatest gadgets on the globe. So with this, you actually get two pairs, small and large, to accommodate different ear sizes. And how they work is extremely simple. You slide these onto your ear pods, and then from there, they kind of hook into your ears, allowing for a much more secure fit. Number four, Linus Tech Tips. And best of all, did I mention that we've already got one? No, I didn't because that would be a lie. We have two. If you're more than just a casual computer user, then Linus Tech Tips could be the perfect channel for you. Linus is real, real serious about his PCs. He builds them up and breaks them apart, all so that we can tell our motherboards from our monitors. Is the Vortex G65 worth your money? I guess it depends what you're after. It's a channel for hardcore gamers, as well as anyone with even a passing interest in drone technology. Our first top five drone of CES is the Ehang 184 Autonomous Aerial Vehicle. I mean, holy crap. The thing can actually fit a passenger inside. Linus presents his clips at a slightly higher level compared to some other tech experts out there, but once you've learned the language, this information overload really gets quite addictive. Place the CPU into the socket with no force, lower the cover, and fasten the retention arm again. Number three, Austin Evans. Hey guys, this is Austin. What's the best web browser? To find out, I gathered the most popular browsers available. While Google Chrome is by far the most used today, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. Austin Evans sets out to make the tech world a great deal easier to understand for a whole lot of people. He combines an unassuming and honest presentation style with clear and concise tech knowledge for a channel which is simple to follow and difficult to stop watching. With a 7-inch display, the Blue Studio 7.0 might look like a tablet, but this is a full-fledged smartphone. Crack open the box, and inside you'll find the studio itself along with the screen protector. There are tech reviews here, versus battles, and countdown clips. Plus, Austin often pays homage to more retro tech for fans of old-school consoles and computers. One of my favorite parts of my collection is the orange Nintendo 64. I've got to admit I'm still a sucker for transparent consoles, and the N64 was a perfect choice to get the see-through treatment. So everyone get your Game Boys out. And today I'm here with a look in my video game console collection. To start, let's take a look at the Game Boy, which I've always been a big fan of. Number two, Marcus Brownlee. Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here, and today we have a bit of an exclusive. MKBHD is a channel that simply leaves no tech stone unturned. This guy tackles computers, consoles, music, smartphones, wearables, portables, and even cars. In case you didn't already know, it's all electric, and a big part of getting the best range out of the batteries is efficiency. Basically, if it's innovative, inventive, or just plain awesome, then he's here to talk us through it. And if it's a super simple image, you can even further customize it with a couple built-in effects for adding color, or like a dual tone look, or stripes or patterns, or whatever you want. Brownlee is especially noted for regularly responding to his viewers, answering their questions, and discussing their suggestions. What's your most favorite game of all time? I almost said NBA 2K, but it's actually uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Thanks to that relationship, MKBHD has racked up over 400 million YouTube views ever since it debuted over eight years ago. I guess we've heard a few tech terms today, but you can't argue with numbers like that. Hard drives tend to be slower, but also way cheaper for the same amount of storage than an SSD. 
except for the super speed drives. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Unbox Therapy. What's up guys, Lou here back with another video and today we're gonna be doing the official iPhone 6 Plus Bend Test. With over four million subscribers, Unbox Therapy is the most subscribed channel to make today's list, and for good reason. There's a recognizable structure to almost all of the clips here, and that consistency is key to why Unbox Therapy is so effective. It's the classic experience in a handheld package. What a crazy contraption. This is what I love. Lou nails the balance between tech speak and simple language, posting several videos a week where he discusses the latest tech innovations and releases. I'm a fan of these things. I use a bunch of them. Uh, check them out if you need a little bit more security because you're a grown up now. Secure yourself. But what makes this guy especially watchable is that his enthusiasm is infectious. He's like everybody's gadget crazed best buddy. These are the greatest headphones i have ever listened to in my entire life hands down no close second this is serious business i am shocked well that's it for today's list who's your favorite tech reviewer anything you guys want to know i'm pretty much open book personal or company or tech just leave me in the comments send me a tweet hit me up on snapchat as always be sure to check us out on facebook instagram and twitter vote for upcoming lists on our suggest page and for more great top tens published every day be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com I will drink to that. I'm going to drink with you. I will drink to it.